Okay, hi. So it's getting kind of dark out. Um, it rained today. I kept waiting for the sun to come out and it didn't happen. So I didn't make a video when it was really nice, when it was brighter out. And now the sun is going down. In fact, it's almost nighttime. And I thought we'd just tackle this before the whole day was done. I had a to-do list to do, uh, to get through, including a painting session. I had to do some painting. And now that I've gotten all of that done, I really want to do this before the day is on, down. Before the day is done, completely done. Now, in, the, in our first videos, we were drawing characters. We drew Dixie. We drew Joel. We drew, we drew Dixie a couple of times. We've got second Dixie. I think that was the first one we did. Um, we've drawn Max a couple of times, and Max is a little turtle. It's coming out now. Whoop! Upside down. Whoops! Whoops! All tangled. Everybody's all tangled. There's Max. Who's <laughs> Oh, so ridiculous. Okay, Dixie, Dixie, Jack. Jack is the bunny rabbit. Max. Where is he? We have another Max in here somewhere. And Max. So we have drawn four of the six, seven, eight characters that are in this book. Um, two of them aren't central characters. Scooter even though the town is named after him. Scooter the Grandpa Teddy Bear um, is a central character, but we don't really dig into him a lot. Honey Bear, we don't dig into him a lot either. He's kind of there, um, just kind of there in stories. But here we have four of the six primary characters. And we've been talking about where they live. We've talked a little bit about Dixie, where Dixie lives, Dixie lives in a birdhouse, a double gable, boink, 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 boink. Uh, it has a double gable, meaning it has two roofs, birdhouse. Um, and I've talked about him and I've shown his house or a version of his house. And so it's gotten me thinking about showing everybody else's house or maybe picking another house to draw, someone's house to draw. Let's take Dixie off. Because we're not going to do his house today. Joel, which I can't wait to do, but we're not going to do today. Joel lives in a tree. He actually lives in a hat, um, in a nest, in a tree. Just like a real squirrel, except he lives in a hat. And he has a, uh, he has a uh, wood stove with a chimney. So we're going to put Joel to the side. Let's put Max to the side. That little Max to the side. We haven't really talked about Jack. Jack lives in a, Jack is a rabbit, and he lives in a hole. So he lives in a hole in the ground, and we'll do his house another time, maybe um, uh, in a few weeks. But Ma uh, we're going to cover Max today, because I talked about Max and how he grew up in a teapot. So I want to show you his teapot. Max doesn't live in the teapot anymore. Max may have grown up here, or it's not, I haven't made it particularly clear. Max may have grown up in this teapot, or a teapot like that. This may have been his grandmother's house, his auntie's house. It could have been a, any one of his relatives' house. But that's where he spent most of his time as a baby. Now he lives in a, in a box house, and I'll show you that another day. But he has chosen to have his live space as a box. Because he could be a box turtle, which I thought was funny. We're going to illustrate the teapot. This is one version of the teapot I've done. And this can actually be a 3D project. We're not going to do 3D today. Um, I drew this 3D project in three different levels. Ready? There's the bottom floor. That's where the door is. There's the living room. There's the kitchen, the kitchen area. This is the second floor. There's um, another living space. There's one bedroom. And there's the second bedroom right there. Look. OK. 
Okay. Um, so that's the second floor. And then this is the outside. It would go like that. But we're not going to tackle that today because that's going to take several hours. We're going to tackle something simple since it's late in the day and I didn't realize how late it was. I'm starting to get tired. We're going to tackle the teapot. We're going to draw it not on my fancy paper. Again, this is what I normally draw on is Strathmore Bristol paper or a Bristol paper because it's got a little bit of texture to it. Not much. It's pretty smooth, but not too, too smooth. Um, and it's stiff. It's very heavy duty paper. So I like it. I'm comfortable working with it. But this is expensive and not everybody has it. Not everybody can get it. And right now all the stores are closed. So we're going to focus on what we might have, hope, what we hopefully have somewhere in the house. Scrap paper. This happens to be scrap paper from work. Um, I brought it home to keep notes on and to just just to be able to draw on. But we're going to use this because hopefully everybody has some or can get some. This is the size of a bill. If there's an old bill on the in the house that nobody's using anymore and might go in recycling or in the garbage, you can use the back of it as long you know with no printing. Anyway, we're going to use what we have. We have eight and a half by eleven. Uh, a standard paper. And let's start our teapot, okay? We're just going to start with a circle. We may actually need a couple of pieces of paper for this. I'll try not to go too big so we can print it out for later. If you want to photocopy it, then you have a, um, a project you can color over and over again if you can make copies of it. Why don't we do that? Okay. So we get a big circle. On top of that circle, we're going to put the sugar dish. I took the I didn't like the door that I drew, so I took the door out of there, um, or the window rather, the window out of there. Pardon me. We're going to do this though. We're going to draw a line along the top of our circle. Let's draw a line along the bottom, too, because that's the ground that the teapot would sit on. Okay. The line along the... T oh, I'm already messing up. Oh, I'm already messing up, because we've got to do this as one piece. I'm going to start again. Okay, I'm sorry, I apologize. We're going to start again. There's the circle. Okay. We're going to draw a line along the bottom. Then we're going to draw a line like that. Because we're going to have a balcony and a balcony, or a balcony and a room. Didn't I have two rooms in this room? What am I thinking? Oh, no, that's okay. That's all right. So we're going to have a balcony and a room. Okay? So we draw that flat piece. But we've also got the sugar bowl. So why don't we draw a third line way up there? And I want you to do this. I want you to make a line roughly in the center of the circle. Okay. Roughly in the center. And that splits the house in half for us. Now we're going to make a line here. There's our, there's our half. That's where we're having our half a house. That's our half a house line. We're going to draw a line here. And then a line here. Okay, and that makes our sugar bowl. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit though. This line that I had you draw up there is a little high. So let's bring it down a little bit. It's too high for a piece of paper. 
because this one we're going to fit everything on one piece of paper. So you're going to have a rectangle sitting on top of part of a circle. Is that confusing enough? Now we're going to go like this. We're going to draw that arc over the top of that arc over the top of the shape. Then we need a little handle on top because it's a sugar bowl. And that's going to be another arc with little arcs on the side. And arcs are just little curves. Okay? And we're going to draw the balcony. And the balcony is that line, the line that we first drew, and the second line over here. But we don't know how wide it's going to be yet. Because the balcony actually sits on the handle of the teapot. Okay? And that, that handle is going to determine how wide or how far out that balcony comes. So what I started to do here was I drew a backward C. And I, then I went, you know what, I think it's going to be this wide. So I drew that line down. So there's the top of the handle. I'm not going to worry too much. We're not going to stress out over shape. We're not going to stress out over anything. Because this is just fine. So then there's the bottom of the handle. So now we know how wide the balcony can be. There it is. There's the balcony frame. We're going to come over here. And this is going to be a wing of the house. So it's got probably going to be about the same length as that, as the balcony. Okay. That's where somebody sleeps. That's where a bed goes. So we're going to draw a line here. And then I want to make it a little bit higher. That, having it down, oops, sorry. Having that, being on that line, it felt too short. So I drew an extra line up here. Okay. Now we're going to draw the spout where the, where the tea comes out. Because the spout is going to hold up this little room, that little bedroom in the house. And don't stress out if you have to draw your lines over and over again like me. It'll be okay. Now this is kind of like a curvy, this is like a backwards S. And that's where the T comes out. Okay, you see? Like a backwards S. We're going to make a line that mimics this almost right down to here. Meeting our circle or the body of the teapot. Okay, you got this. This is easy peasy. All right, I want to go back to um, this little bedroom over here. I didn't remember I didn't like that line very much, the one that ran right here. What I want to do is build the roof. And the roof is going to be about halfway down our sugar dish, right there. Okay. That's going to be the roof. That's going to be the roof to the to the bedroom. There's a little piece on the roof though that's metal. And that helps to hold all of the um, shingles up, all the tar up, and helps to keep water from getting in. So we drew a second line below this top line. Like that. Just like that. 
Now let's go on over here. Let's go back to the balcony and let's make it a little fancy. So we're going to have, let me see, hard to explain, but we're going to draw in the wood detailing, the wood frame. Okay. So we've got a second line here. Another line here, next to the sugar dish. Then we've got another line here. So we've got wood framing it in, and then we want to add like a board here that the whole balcony is going to sit on. Just a second line, and we'll see that actually in a minute when we go to draw in the um, do the ink, the ink part. It'll be clearer then. Oh, he's just my cat. Now, just for fun, just for decoration, we're going to put a circle right here. That's just decoration. I know, kitty. Let's draw a window in our sugar dish. And it's going to be one, two lines. Curvy top. Let's have it be a full floor. I mean, let's have it be a big window. There's our original line down there. I've drawn a second one in here where everything can sit on top. The sugar, the sugar dish can sit on, or sugar bowl can sit on top. The balcony can sit on top because that's going to be one big piece of wood. The bedroom wing is going to sit on top. You'll see in just a minute. Um, doo -dee doo. Oh, and we're going to do a little bit more detail over here. This is all, um, this is going to be planks of wood. So you're going to want to draw in a couple of lines like that, like you would see on a wood house. And then on the balcony, you're going to draw in lines like that. There we go. Okay. Now let's grab our pens. Uh, I've got my fancy pen. You use what you have. I still don't have a Sharpie. I've got my fancy pens instead. Why don't we start at the top? We'll start with the handle. One, two lines. Like that. And then the third curvy bit over the top. We're going to draw the top of the sugar dish. The little lid, like that, and like that. Then we've got this line across. That's the sugar. That's the lid to the sugar dish. And you'll hear my cat crying. He's not up. He's not in pain. He's not sick. He's just being a brat. He wants to go out to the garage where my painting supplies are and pee on something, and I won't let him. So he's throwing a temper tantrum. So we're drawing the sides. There's one. There's two. Let's draw that big window. He went out there and peed on my uh, two of my rugs. And then he peed on two um, um, drop claws. And so he's not allowed in there anymore. And he's mad because he was having fun. But then he went and ruined it. So no, stop. It's enough. Shit. Shoot. Sorry, I didn't swear. <laughs> and he just knocked over the camera. Sorry about that. Oh, there's always something going on here. So anyway, there's the window. So I'm really sorry. He did. He rubbed up against the uh, stand and knocked it over. Okay, let's try and focus again. <laughs> okay, 
we're going to draw the bottom line of that big piece of wood that's holding everything up. Oh, that cat. He peed on two of my favorite chairs, too. So I've had to do a lot of cleaning because of him. All right, remember I was talking about having two lines so that that wood could hold everything up? Look at those two lines now. And see how I didn't even bother drawing them straight or connecting them, see how uneven they are? That's okay, because that's where the charm is. That's what makes us your own, the imperfections. We're going to draw the balcony. I think Kitty went and hid because this made a loud noise when he knocked it over. The frame did. So we drew the outside. We're going to draw one of the pieces of wood right across the top. Draw a piece of wood this way. And another piece of wood there. Okay, that's what you should have. And we're going to put our circle on top. Let's draw this beaded board, or whatever that is. I like it at an angle. I think it adds character. You see how I'm doing now? They're not exact. How's the camera? <laughs> oh, that cat. Okay, so they're not exact. They're not straight. They're not all the same width. Each one's different. Okay. Why don't we tackle the, the bedroom wing? We'll do the roof. Do that piece of aluminum that's on the roof to keep out the rain. So that's one, two lines. Then we're going to draw the bottom of the roof. We'll draw the front of the house. Oh no, we're not going to draw the front of the house yet. We have that lamp line penciled in. We're going to draw the siding instead. Those lines that mean that it's made of wood or whatever. It's just siding on a house. There it is. Okay, now to draw the front of the house, I don't want it exact, so I'm going to do that. Squiggly lines, kind of squiggly. All right, let's go to the teapot. I'm going to do the left-hand side, the upper left-hand side, the upper right-hand side, the spout, the spout again, now watch. Boink, 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 boink. I'm not worried about the lines. I'm not worried about their width. I'm not worried about their thicknesses. I'm not worried about the meeting. It's okay. It's okay. Let's draw the handle. Okay, I have to do this by turning the paper a lot. Outside of the handle. Ooh, and the top of the handle. Look at it. It's holding everything up. Now I forgot to draw the inside of the handle. And I do like to sketch this in because otherwise I'll, I'll go way off track. And as much as I like boo boos, happy accidents is what grown ups call them. As much as I love boo boos and happy accidents, I don't want to throw it all, I don't want to um, take a chance and make a big mistake. 
So I'm gonna draw now we're gonna draw the inside of the handle. And in a minute, I'll tell you a story about Kitty, whose name is actually Tiger. But I just call him Kitty. Yeah, he's definitely hiding now. And there's the bottom. There we go. Teapot. Teapot house. Oh. And that curve. There we go. Teapot house. Although we don't have a window pane in there, do we? So this is almost in the middle. I'm going to draw a line. Hmm. Now windows actually usually have little crisscrosses in them. I think I not do I want to leave it? Uh, I'll decide on whether I'm going to put a little crisscross in there or not. What we're going to tackle right now is the design. Teapots usually have a pretty design on the outside. Um, why don't we check, uh, try these? These are called, these little blossoms are called impatiens. Impatiens. It's not impatience like people losing their temper because they're not getting their way or things aren't moving fast enough. They're just pretty little flowers called impatience. They have, um, ready? We're going to tackle this. Let's do a circle. Let's just draw some circles in and they don't have to be anywhere in particular. Let's just draw some circles. I'm going to draw five because I like odd numbers. Then we're going to draw a smaller circle on the inside of each one. Right. And that's where a honeybee would go if they wanted to collect um, stuff. That's where a honeybee would land. Sorry. So it should look like that. And we're going to draw the petals. Petals are just rounded, curvy, almost rectangles. Like that. Like that. Like any of those. We're going to have five of those on each one. Some will be big, some will be small. And it shouldn't take more than a couple seconds to draw each one. You don't want to think, you just want to do. This is art. This is not life or death. Sorry, poor choice of words. Very poor choice of words. Um, uh, this isn't uh, nobody will get hurt if they're not correct. Oh, don't even bother listening to me. I'm ridiculous. Four, five. It's not a big deal. They don't have to be perfect. They shouldn't be perfect. They're flowers. They're part of nature like we are. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect in their imperfectness. How's that? Much better. Perfect in their imperfectness. Alright, so now I've got five flowers with five petals each. Now we're going to draw some little buds. Some little impatient bud, buds. And that's all they are. Like the leaves we drew the other day. They're very similar. One, two lines with two kind of curvy triangles coming off. One, two, one, two. And a stem. Boink. Let's draw another one. Two curvy lines like our leaves with two curvy triangles. And a stem. Boink. 
draw some more. Two curvy lines, two curvy triangles, and a stem. Boink! I'm going to put one, I think, right there. Two curvy lines, two curvy triangles, stem. Boink! I think we'll put one, yeah, we'll put a couple over here. Two curvy lines, two triangles, stem. Boink! Two curvy lines, two curvy triangles. Boink. All right, we're going to do some more work on this, um, but f we're f first let's go ahead and start inking in what we have so we don't become overwhelmed. All right, let's feel, I like to feel a sense of accomplishment so that I can keep working. Circle. Still can't believe he knocked over the camera. Curvy triangle. Curvy triangle. Curvy triangle. Curvy triangle. Curvy triangle. Perfect in its imperfectness, in its imperfect nature. Let's go ahead and make more circles and triangles. So I was going to tell you about Kitty. So Kitty is, let's see, Bugsy, my dog, is about 15. He will be in a few weeks. Kitty, we think, is about 14. Now, Bugs, it used to be just Bugsy and me. And then, I think nine years ago, ten years ago, I decided Bugsy needed somebody who spoke a similar language to him. He needed a pal. So we went to the inn, because everybody needs a pal. So we went to the Animal Rescue League, and we tried out, tried finding doggy pals. But it wasn't working out, because Bugsy can't share me with another dog. So we started looking at kitties, taking home a kitty. I knew we didn't want a kitten. Okay. I knew we didn't want a kitten. I knew we wanted a cat. So we looked at all kinds of cats. Cute kitties. All old, older kitties, a lot of older kitties mainly. And I was looking at a brother-sister kitty team who were just so cute. They used to sit in their cage and they'd be like, we're cute, we're adorable, come see us. So for two weeks I went and visited these the sister-brother kitty team with Bugsy. And they were cute, and they rolled around, and they did all the cute things that cats can do. But there was a cat right next to them, and I had really long hair then. And I would bend over to visit with the kitties, and he would pull my hair. He would reach through his cage and grab my hair and pull it. And he farted all the time. Big, smelly, stinky farts. And one day I just looked at him. He was just so awful. I looked at him and I said, I think you belong with me. And that's how we got Tiger. And he will periodically get mad at me and pee on something, a rug, a chair, three places on a chair that I just got because he's mad at me, and I want to kill him. I just get so mad at him, but I clean it up. I clean it the best I can. I try not to lose my patience or my temper. I do my best to be kind, <laughs> and we move on. I want to yell at him, but he doesn't understand English, so it's pointless. Okay, let's move on to the little blossoms. 
two curvy lines, and two curvy triangles, and stem. Boink! That's it. That's all it is. Let's do another one. One, two curvy lines, two curvy triangles, and the stem. Boink! curvy lines two triangles stem boink two curvy lines two curvy triangles and the stem boink two curvy lines Two triangles, stem boink. And boink. Here we go. You can put in more than that. You can put in fewer than that. It doesn't matter. You do whatever you want to do. I think so. I want to fill in. Oh, excuse me for just one second. We've got mayhem here at the house tonight. It's not me, it's one of them, or it's both of them. Um, I think I want to fill in with an extra bud here or there, but without the uh, stem. So I just drew a few oval, three ovals in. You do whatever you want. You don't have to do this. Oh, wrong pen. Wrong fancy pen. But I'm just going to put in a couple of buds, or three buds here or there. Two curvy ones. Oop. That's going to be a little dark. Oh well. I did that. I just added loose buds. Now I want to do something else. I love using circles. So I just want to draw in some circles in some of the blank space. Oh, excuse me for just one sec. Sorry. Buds, stop. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. 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 Thank you. <coughs> Pardon me. So I'm just going to draw some circles in. Um, we don't have to be exact. Just where, wherever there's like a blank space and you feel like you want to just fill in with something. Don't stress about it. It's not a big deal. They're just circles. Okay. On this teapot, I drew in leaves. On this teapot, I drew in, oh God, those are ugly, impatience and leaves. I don't, we're not going to put in leaves tonight. You can if you like. Um, I just don't feel like it. So I'm going to stick with that. Now this is a lot of white space, and you don't want to overwhelm your illustration with too much white space. You want to make sure that it, fe it feels like a solid drawing. So I'm going to put in the lines that I like, like I did in the bushes, and I've done other places. I took my thinner pen and drew some lines. I'm going to do that in all the circles in all different directions. I'm sorry, I'm so really winded. Let's move this down. <laughs> I just knocked something over. 
It is just mayhem tonight. Just drawing in lines. You can't see what I'm doing. That's not helpful. Drawing in lines. Drawing in lines. Drawing in lines. I could draw in lines inside the pit, the uh, flowers as well. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. It's, it's mayhem. It's just chaos at my house tonight. Dinging and cat noises and dog noises. See how I did that? Just little lines. That's all. Now we're going to take this. We're going to take the roof and we're going to finish it off a little bit. I really like to do is put some put a few sets of lines up there. You can do it if you like, you don't have to. But I'm going to. I did them in pencil first, obviously. I was drawing them in with my fancy brush pen. Fancy brush pen. Be careful, you don't want to get confused. Because this is the wood part of the house. This is the tar part, the tar roof. Or whatever it is, roof. Why don't we do this? Where's my eraser? Take some of that pencil marker off. Just so I don't get myself confused. See how that big line hangs out there? It's a little bit bigger. That's where the roof is. That's what we're going to be coloring in kind of in a sec. I'm just going to draw some lines like that. Some pencil lines. So I know not to go down this far. Not to go down here, but from here on up. And all we're going to be doing is drawing circles. All different size circles in our tar roof. T-A-R. I'm just going to make some random big ones. Can you see? This is terrible. Okay, this is one of the weirder videos I've made so far. And I've made some really weird videos. Where I get everything wrong. My words don't come out right. My paintings don't come out right. My drawings don't come out right. My thoughts don't come out right. But it's okay. I don't mind. Alright, you see how I drew some, some of the circles in? Over the pencil marks. Because we're not going below that line. There's our roof right there. So we're not going down here on the wood part of the house. But I put some circles in. Okay. Put some bigger circles in. Now we're gonna draw bunches of little circles if you can. If you can't, it's okay. You can just color that in. But I'm drawing circles right on top of one another, so they're touching. They're like bubbles. Just like bubbles. Some are squiggly, some of the lines cross over, doesn't matter. This is for fun. This isn't a grade. You're not going to get in trouble. You're just going to do the best you can. Just like me. We don't have to be perfect. Because we can't. We're people.
Sometimes we knock things over and swear and or say bad words and we don't mean to. Here we go. Those are all just circles and circles and circles and circles. I'm going to go to my next line and do the same thing. The circles and circles and circles. This is actually one of my favorite parts of drawing Max's house. Or Max, the house that Max was in when he was little. Now, my son grew up, kind of grew up, in the house that I grew up in, that my grandmother grew up in, and my father grew up in, and my cousins grew up in. And he didn't spend his entire childhood there, but he spent a lot of it there. And I want this house to feel like that house a little bit. The happy part of that house. Because his Grammy lived in that house. His Grampy uh, grew, grew old in that house and so did his Grammy. My mother and my father. And James spent a lot of time there. My son James. So that's what I want it to feel like. Yeah, we know. No, don't, don't, don't knock it over again. More ridiculous. Yeah, I know, Kitty. We're going to finish the, I know, we're going to finish and then we'll have something to eat, okay? Yeah? Yeah, Kitty. Kitty. His name is Tiger and I call him Kitty. Don't I? Kitty! And he says, what? And I say, Kitty! And he says, what? Kitty! Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty! Right? Yeah, he's looking at me. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty! And we're just going to continue drawing all these little circles because we're almost done. This gets kind of boring, but when we're done, it gets, it's really cute. It's perfect. Now look at you can make that for your grandparents, for your mom, dad, for yourself, for somebody, somebody you love. You can always take that and photocopy it, and if you can, do it over and over again if you want. I'm just going to erase some of the lines. You can color it as it is, but if you get to photocopy it, then you've got a coloring project for a long time. Or maybe you want to cut it out like our other projects and make it into 3D. In fact, I said I wasn't going to do that, but maybe I will. But first, before I cut it out, go, <laughs> oh my God, I'm a mess today. I'm just ridiculous. I'm going to add a little bit of grass to the bottom of this because it's a house and it has a lawn, right? I just drew little squiggly lines. And that's grass in my world. I'm just going to cut mine out really fast. And I still didn't decide on that window. Again, we're not cutting right on the line. We're cutting a little bit away. So we've got we've got paper. We've got white paper next to the line.
actually is sitting to my right, just over there, staring at me. What are you doing? Get my dinner. Bugsy is sitting on the floor, staring at me. Now I cut my house a little bit, but it's no big deal. It's not the, it's not the end of everything. It's just a boo-boo. Just a boo-boo, and it's okay. Still cutting away from the, not cutting right along the black line, giving it a little bit of space. So now this is something we can build on with the other stuff we've used. Oops, like the bush that got super curly apparently. It got super curly. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. Look at that. I actually have little flower pots and things that I want to make for it too. One the sky. Oh, there's another bush that I made a while ago. Take a couple pieces of scrap paper real quick. Make a couple of rolls to hold it up. Oh, yeah, wrong side. Oh my god, I'm full of it today. Full of mayhem. Full of mayhem, full of ridiculousness. A little bit crazy. Oh no kitty. <laughs> kitty almost knocked it over again. Please don't, please, please, please don't do that. Thank you, kitty. This piece of paper. So now we get two rolls. They're not even close to being the same size and it doesn't really matter. It's okay. Let's see how we can get this to stand up. Okay, apparently not like that. See what I was doing. Oh, this is just ridiculous. I'm putting some glue there. Okay, now we'll stand our teapot up. Boink! Sort of. Don't forget, my, my desk is at an angle, too. It's slanted down like this so I can draw, see what I'm doing. So, so great. This looks great. Well, 
wrong in the camera. You can always adjust the rolls too. You can adjust and readjust. It's okay. All right, he is a little wonky. Little teapot, poor little teapot. Poor little teapot. There we go. Oh, hold on. Let me get him. Look. There's Max sitting outside the teapot. All right, we didn't make the um, we didn't make the wing, which is the two uh, teacups on either side. But it's okay. This is a good start. It's a really good start on on building the houses in the uh, in the town. All right. Thanks for your patience. Again, sorry about, you know, the cat knocking it over and me dropping things and just the craziness tonight. But there we are. Sometimes things uh, are different. Or not, oh, here he comes again. Don't, don't, no, oh, cat. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to go have dinner, um, and we'll do this again really soon. Thank you again. Thank you again for all your patience. All right? Ciao.